The goals of this protocol are to use Langendorf perfusion to isolate cardiac myocytes from adult mouse hearts with known genetics and to analyze contractility and calcium transients of the myocytes. After a heparin injection, the heart is removed from an anesthetized mouse. It is quickly mounted via the aorta to a cannula attached to a syringe of perfusion buffer. The aorta is secured with suture and buffer is slowly perfused to clear the coronary arteries. The cannula is then mounted onto a Langendorf apparatus with flowing perfusion buffer. The heart is digested with a calcium-free solution of collagenase and protease until it is palpably soft. The left ventricle is placed in the calcium-free buffer and dispersed with forceps and gentle pipetting. After the solution is filtered through mesh, cells are gradually introduced to higher calcium concentrations to remove dead cells and ensure myocytes are calcium tolerant. Healthy cells are rod-shaped, while dead cells lack this form. Myocytes are then loaded with Fura2, a radiometric calcium binding dye, and placed on the stage of the microscope for analysis. Cells are electrically paced while contractility is measured using sarcomere length and edge detection, and calcium transients are measured by analyzing the spectral shift of the Fura2 loaded cells. Dilated cardiomyopathy is caused by a variety of mutations. However, understanding the mechanism behind this heart disease can be difficult. Isolating cardiomyocytes allows us to analyze the contractility and calcium transients of the contractile cell of the heart. Calcium-free and 1.2 millimolar calcium tyroid solutions can be prepared in advance. On the day of the isolation, prepare the calcium-free perfusion buffer, enzyme digestion buffer, and transfer buffers A and B per the written protocol filtering all solutions through a